high. Well, I picked the rest of my the rest of my rose hips. Look how many I have. I had almost this many the second round as I did the first round. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I did some reading and researching, and there's all kinds of things I could do, but it sounds like my best bet. I'm going to I'm going to dehydrate them. So I will fit as many as I can on my dehydrator, and then I'll have to decide if I have any left over what to do with the rest of them. So here goes. I know you can't see my head. That's okay. <laughs> and we have we have rose hips running around. Wow, they're just barely gonna fit on this without falling through. I don't have one of those silicone things that you can put on this. And these will shrink, so I'm certain they'll fall through. I'm going to pause my video for a bit and see if there's an alternative to that silicone thing that I don't have. Well, that was easy. I found the answer right away. I can use parchment paper. So I'm going to have to take a time out here and get the parchment paper cut to the right shape for my dehydrator. And then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got her made, parchment paper, so that the rose hips won't fall through. I had someone this morning ask, ask me exactly what is a rose hip. Here's one up close. Let's see if I can get it up close so you can see it. Okay, come on. Oh, dropped it. Can you see that? what a rose hip looks like. If I was doing something other than dehydrating them, I'd probably cut off the little fuzzy thing on the end there. But I think for dehydrating that doesn't really matter. I think I have all the stems off. So I'm making sure that I have only one layer of hips. I'm hoping these all fit on my my dehydrator. It only comes with with only comes with four. Um, what do you call these trays? So I don't know if they'll all fit or if they won't. But There's tray number one. And in my dehydrator, it's important that I do where it says this side up and it's got a little handle thing right here. And that one goes on the bottom. Then the next one doesn't have a handle. And There, put my piece of parchment paper on. That needs to be thinned a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Sure, I have to make sure they're not laying on top of each other. They need to be single layer. 
Then once they get dried, the uh, what I read said that it should take about five hours or so. So we'll see. My with my dehydrator, I I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes not as long. I've got one of those Presto dehydrators that it doesn't give me a choice of what temperature. It's just all the same temperature. So I'll have to keep an eye on things to make sure that we don't get them too dry. They just need to be dry so there's no moisture in. Crispy, I guess is the right word. Then what I can do, I can do several things with them. I can stick them in my coffee grinder and make powder which can be used for smoothies or tea. I can leave them in dehydrated shape. I've got one upside down in the middle here. Let's see if I can. I'll have to. <laughs> can't get it. There we go. Okay. I'm sure so. Single file. Okay. Oh, I see a stem I missed. go. All right. My next one has handles on it. This side up. And there it goes. And my parchment. I do think I'm not going to have enough trays for all of my rose hips. I can buy more trays for this, but I just haven't done it yet. This dehydrator, the reason I got it instead of one of those more fancier ones, more fa that isn't good English, one of those fancier ones, it had to do with the price. It was like, if I remember right, it was either $79 or $89. So it's it was cheap. And I guess you do get what you pay for. But I've dehydrated a number of things already. And it does do a good job. I just can't dehydrate things that require the temperature to stay really low. like like some of my herbs and those are just as easy to hang to put in a little bunch and hang anyway i don't know actually i think i might be able to get all of them just a minute here yes. single layer Okay, and here's number four. This is the last one. Parchment paper. This is, this is what I have left. I think I can just pour them right on here. Yes, I'm going to get them all. Very good. I'm so I'm so glad they all fit on here, so I don't have to. I don't have to be creative and come up with something else. Because even if I wanted to, I could take the dried ones and reconstitute them and make jelly or juice or kombucha or well you can even use them to make wine but we're not wine drinkers so that wouldn't necessarily be okay so they're ready to put on my dehydrator so i'll go do that and push the start button and we're ready to go so I will come back and 
add a little clip to the end of this video after they're dehydrated and show you what the dehydrated ones look like and maybe give you some a list of some things that you can do with dehydrated rose hips and i also wanted to tell you what all nutritionally they had the last video i did where you had picked half of them i was going to leave a link to the nutritional value and i kind of forgot to do that so hopefully i remember to add nutritional value in my descriptions below so we'll see you in a couple minutes it'll be a few hours for me until these get all dry it'll just be a few seconds for you and here they all all are dehydrating away Before I started these, I thought that someone had said five hours. It has taken, well, let's see. I'm thinking close to 24, and they're still not all done. Pretty much everything on this tray is done. And I've been sorting through everything in there is done. Everything here is not done. And I haven't sorted this one yet, so some of them are done and some of them are not done. So here's my qualification for done. If I pick it up and squeeze it, it's not at all pliable. It is hard as a rock. So it goes in the jar. And if it's not done, see the difference here. That one has a little bit of give to it. Some of these have a lot of give to them. See, I don't know if you can see that. So. So this part of my project is getting all the done ones into the jar and sorting through, putting all the undone ones back on. I don't think I'll get them all on one tray. I think it'll be two trays. And putting those back in the dehydrator. I have one tray that's completely empty and cleaned off and everything already. So it looks like there'll be two trays left for the dehydrator. So I'll come back at you when I get them all done. Well, I don't know if I really need to do that. You already know what I'm doing. They will all look like, I don't know. I may not be able to get them all in this jar. But I should be able to get most of them in this jar and some of them in a smaller jar. I got some smaller jars. I don't know if I have any more jars of this size handy. I might have some in storage out in the garage. But that's what I'm going to be doing. I may or may not come back with more video footage on this. In fact, I'm almost inclined not to because you can tell what I'm going to do. And that was the whole purpose of this, so you could see what I did, how I did it, and how it turned out. And when I get all done, it will all turn out like these that are done. All of these are done. So they'll go in the jar. And it probably will take several more hours for these, you know, like quite a few of them are close, but just not quite there yet. I want to make sure they're done enough that they're not going to be molding on me or anything. So one thing I didn't mention about the rose hips <coughs> is that inside of the rose hips, there are fuzzy things, like they're kind of dandelion-ish. I mean, like, you know, like the fuzzy thing that you blow away. And it, they're similar to that inside. And I think that's where all the seeds are, too. Anyway, the someone said, someone, something I read, said that if you do, when you dehydrated them, that... <clears throat> 
you could just shake all of that out. It would, it, when you sifted them, those that would just fall out. Well, I think that might only happen if you cut them in half. And some people said they cut them in half, and other people said they didn't. And they said it didn't seem to matter if you cut them in half or if you didn't. And so I didn't. And I think those little furry things are encapsulated inside the shriveled up rose hip is what I think. So I suspect when I rehydrate rehydrate them to use them, the ones that I rehydrate, I will have to clean those out. <clears throat> Some of them I might just use my grinder and grind up, and I don't know if that will make any difference or not. I guess I just have to play that by ear, because the ones I grind up, I will be using for tea or smoothies or whatever anyway, and so it probably won't matter. Well, that's that information. So I gotta get busy here, and I just have a few more to sort through. And I decided to bring them over to my easy chair and sit down to do it instead of standing up. That one jar was clear full, so I am putting the rest of them in this jar. The ones that are done, the ones that are ready. And so I have two trays that are totally cleaned off. And then the one tray that you saw earlier, all of them are needing to go back in the dehydrator. And this one, as I sort through it, some of them will go in the jar and some of them will go back in the dehydrator. So I'll see you in a minute. So this concludes my rose hip video, drying the rose hips. I had, in summary, I had four trays of rose hips. Two of the trays dried faster than the other two trays. And I had just under two quarts full of rose hips as a result. And I will put in the description the nutritional value of the rose hips. I did promise you that I would do that. And if you want to see what all you can do with rose hips, different recipes and such, go back and look at the video that preceded this about rose hips. I will put it, both of them in a playlist so that you will be able to find it. So go to, uh, and I'll put, I'll put an, an end card or whatever you call it at the end of the video that you can click on or whatever to get to my previous video about rose hips. So I hope you enjoyed these videos about rose hips. Not your normal thing that people usually preserve use. And it's nice to do things that are a bit unusual sometimes. So until I see you in my next video, which I'm not really sure what the content is going to be yet, but you will find out when I make it. May the good Lord richly bless you, and I'll see you then. Bye!